Okay, in this video, the Herminator, Big Herm, teaches you how to factor four terms. And two terms is GCF DOPS, three terms GCFT, and now four terms is kind of the final. There's the, the only way you can factor an expression is if it has two, three, or four. Okay, five you can't do. Okay, so as I can see, I have 1x to the third plus 7. That needs to be 7x squared, sorry. I want that x to second. Otherwise, you'd just combine those and you'd have three terms, but I want that to the second. So there are four non-like terms. Now, we're not solving the equation. We're just getting this factored. And um, with four terms, it's a process called grouping. Okay, and here's kind of the template for it. You need a big box to start off with, okay? It can't be just a wussy little box, and it's called the grouping box. Okay, you make a parentheses plus a parentheses. And then you write the same thing, but you're going to put little lines outside because you're going to factor something out of the outside of each parentheses. And then at the end, you'll have one parentheses with another line outside. But that line, you're going to factor actually a whole entire expression out there. Okay, so what I do is I put the 1x third and 7x to the second in here together. Okay. And then I put the negative 9x. you got to put the 9 as negative because we put a plus sign. So we got to make sure that we recognize that 9 is negative. And then minus 63. Okay, then what you do is you underline all the terms. And then you ask your it's like GCF rules. Do you have a negative in front? Nope. Do you have X on both? Yeah, and I have a third power and a second power, so we need to put X to the second down there. And then one and seven, the GCF's one, so I'm not gonna put one there. I'm only gonna I will put one if I don't have anything else down there. Okay. But I, you know. Okay, over here, do you have a negative in front? Yes, so you need to put negatives down there. You have to. Do you have X on both? Nope, so we won't be putting X's here. If you want a GCF calculator, 9 and 63, that's 9, so you're going to have 9. There's what you do. What are you dividing by here? X to the second. What are you dividing by here? Negative 9. Now, these two need to end up the same. So let's see if they do. Drop your 1 because you're not dividing it. Now, if you have x to the third and x to the second, you'd still have an x factor on the 1. Plus 7 and x second, x second would cancel. Now, over here, negative 9 divided by negative 9 is 1 and the x factor and then negative 63, I call that negative 63 divided by negative 9 is also positive 7. So plus 7. All right. You know you're doing it right if these two are the same. Same values, same letters, same sign. All right, now I'm going to circle. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to circle. See this plus sign? I'm going to circle that, and then I'm going to circle the other two sides of it. What is the same in each one of these? Well, I think it's the parentheses with 1x plus 7. So I factor out the 1x plus 7 expression. Since I'm factoring that out, I cross those out. And what do I have left? I have x to the second and negative 9. But you need to write x to the second minus 9, not plus negative. All right, now, after that, you need to make a DOPS box with the plus minus. This has a plus, so you circle that. You're not going to do anything with that. This has a minus. So we have to see, is there anything times itself that is 9? Well, yeah, 3 times 3. And that's x times x. Okay, So x, x, 3, 3. And that has a plus. You may circle it. That has a minus, but 3. I can't write 3 as anything times itself. Now, I want you to take your three things you circled, the 1x plus 7, put that in parentheses, the x plus 3, and the x minus 3. That's factored. Three factors. Okay, next problem. Again, these all have four terms. Grouping. Remember, big box is needed for grouping. And at the end, we're going to have to do a difference of perfect squares check. 
So grouping. And then the same thing with lines outside. And then just one parenthesis with the line out. Okay, grouping, I've got 1x to the power of 3 minus 2x to the power of 2, and then negative 16x plus 32. Some of you are like, well, I'll just put 16x. No, you're not. You ain't gonna, you gotta put the mine, the negative. Okay, GCF, but you're doing two things, not the, not all four, just between two. Do you have a negative in front of it? No. Nope. Do you have x on these two? Yep, and you need to do the second power. 1 and 2, the GCF's 1, and I already have something there, so don't need it. You have a negative here? Yep. Do you have X on both? Nope. 16 and 32, the GCF is 16. So I'm going to factor out X to the second, and I'm going to factor out negative 16. Okay, so I have 1 with X minus 2. Those cancel. Hopefully I get the same thing here. Negative 16 divided by negative 16 is 1 with x. 32 divided by negative 16 is negative. Positive 32 divided by negative 16 is negative 2. So put minus 2. And they're the same. Okay. So I'm going to factor out the expression 1x minus 2. Because they're both the same. And then I have x to the second minus 16. Okay, now let's look for dops with these two. You have a minus here, but I don't think two is a dops. That ain't on the board, so circle that. It means you don't go any further. If you circle it, just write it over here in parentheses, because that's where I want to see the answer. Now here you got a minus. 16's on the board. That's 4 by 4. And x a second is x times x. Okay, So we do not want to circle that. It needs to come down here and broken up. Okay, that has a plus. You can circle it and just write it over here. That's got a minus and 2 times 2, and but x doesn't have a power, so that needs to be circled. And that's x minus 4. Okay, next up, four terms, so grouping and dots. So grouping, I've got 1x to the third plus 4x to the second, and then negative 9x minus 36. Negative in front, no, you got x on both, yep, and to the second. On grouping, you're always going to go to the second. One and four, the GCF's one. Do you have a negative in front here? Sure. Okay, you have x on both? Nope. Nine and 36, the GCF's nine. Okay, so we need to factor out x to the second here and negative nine here. Okay, so I have the 1. x third divided by x second is x plus 4, and then those x's there cancel. Negative 9 divided by negative 9 is 1 with x. Now, before you divide, I want you to tell me the signs on the numbers. That would be negative 36 divided by negative 9. That's positive 4, so plus 4. And again, they're the same. The expressions in the parentheses are matches. So 1x plus 4 is factored out. And then that leaves me with x to the second. Please put minus 9. Because I don't want you to put a plus in there. Okay. This has a plus, so circle it and just bring it over here. This has a minus, so we don't want to circle it yet. 9 is 3 times 3 x a second, x times x. So that should not be circled because that's a difference of perfect squares. Difference means we need minuses and the perfect squares mean both these terms can be written as a factor times itself. So x, x, 3, 3. Okay, the plus can be circled. Now that is a minus, but 3 is not a perfect square, so we'll circle that. So we have x plus 3 and x minus 3.
Okay, next up. Okay, so I've got 1x to the third, minus 3x to the second, and then 6x, positive 6x this time, minus 18. Because there's not minus, it doesn't say minus 6, so that's why I'm putting that in there as positive. <clears throat> All right. Negative in front, nope. X on both, yep, so to the second. 1 and 3, the GCF's 1, so we don't need to put the 1, unless it, we can't find, unless there's nothing under there yet. Negative in front, nope. X on both, nope. And 6. 6 and 18 is 6. So I factor out X to the second and positive 6. So I have 1 with X minus 3. I have 1 with X. And what am I taking there? I'm taking negative 18 divided by 6. That's negative 3, so I put minus 3. And again, it's a match. So I factor out the 1x minus 3 expression. And that leaves me with x to the second and positive 6. So 6 is positive, so I write plus 6. Okay, so the plus can be circled. And here we have a minus. But 3 ain't a perfect square, okay? So I circle both of them and cross out the dots because I can't do anything with that. So I've got 1x minus 3 times x to the second plus 6. All right, I've got two more. Hmm, this one's a pain. Fortunately, I don't think I put any of these on that assignment. So grouping. And dots. Okay, so I've got 1x to the 5th minus 3x to the 4th. A little higher exponents. We're back to having a minus in the middle, so negative 16 plus 48. Okay, do we have a negative in front? Nope. Do you have X on both? Yeah, and I have a fifth and a fourth, so we need to do the fourth. Take that out. Negative in front? Nope. Or yeah, we do. X on both? Nope. 16 and 48 on that GCF calculator is 16. So I factor out X to the fourth, and I factor out negative 16. Okay, so it's going to be 1 x fifth, x fourth would be x minus 3, and those cancel. Negative 16 divided by negative 16 is 1 with x. And then what do you, this last one, you always got to kind of say what the signs are going to be. You're going to take positive 48 divided by negative 16. That's negative 3, so I put minus 3. Again, they wound up the same, so I put the expression 1x minus 3 out. And I have x to the 4th minus 16. All right, well, I don't have any pluses, so I need to actually examine both of these carefully. I have a minus here, but 3 is not a perfect square. So let's circle that and put it over here, 1x minus 3. Got a minus, 16's on the board, that's 4 times 4, and x to the second's on the board, x to the fourth on the board, that's x to the second times x to the second, okay? So indeed, x second, x second, and 4 and 4. Now, you have a plus, circle it, and I can put that over here, that factor's dead, I can't, I don't want to mess with that. But I still have a minus here, and 4 is 2 times 2. And x to the second is also a perfect square, because that's x times x. So I need to go do this again. Not circle it, but come down here with another dots. So x, x, 2, and 2. That as a plus, we can go put, I know that that factor is prime. 
got a minus, but two is not a perfect square. So finally, I can circle everything. So just put parentheses x minus two. That one's a tricky one because you have to do the dots twice over because you end up with a you end up with a minus and you actually had another one. Okay, one, one. When I'm doing the grouping, I like to see where my coefficients are at. Okay, this is kind of another oddball problem. Okay, so I've got 1x to the third plus 1x to the second, and then 1x plus 1. Negative in front here, nope. X on both, yep. So x to the second, 1 and 1 is just 1. So Negative in front here, nope. Do you have x on both? Nope. Well, 1 and 1, again, it's the same number, so that's 1, but you actually you do need to put it. Okay, because now you don't have anything else under there. You have to have to do the grouping method. You have to put something under both expressions. So I factor out x second and I factor out one. So that's going to be one with x plus one, and then the x seconds cancel. One with x plus one. Nice. So one x plus one. One x plus one. Factor that expression out. And we have x to the second plus 1. They both have pluses, so we circle them both. Cross that out, and that's my answer. 1x plus 1, x to the second plus 1. Okay, and that's all the factoring you pretty much need to know in algebra. The four terms, two terms, and three terms.